Good morning, everyone. This is Dominique from the Gail Borden Public Library. So I am here today um, at Lord's Park Zoo. We are having a wonderful event here. Um, we are doing the readership and, I'm um, sorry, story time story time here at Lord's Park Zoo and I have our very own Madeline from Readership um, and I'm going to have her introduce herself and then kind of give us an insight of what we're going to be seeing here at the event. The event will be starting at 1130 so please come on out and join us and that will be up until 1 p.m. So here is Madeline to give us a little bit of insight going on here. Thank you, Dominique. Hi, everybody. My name is Madeline Villalobos. I am here on behalf of the Gail Borden Library for the readership. Um, I am here to do story time. It's on sheep today. And what does the sheep say? We'll be doing a lot of buying today. So we have, we're going to start off with the mayor. He's going to tell us about a story walk. Very exciting. Um, and we also have we're going to have a demonstration, a spinning demonstration uh, for wool, and I'm going to be, uh, we're going to be singing and dancing, and I also have a craft for you, and lots of giveaways, and we also have the pandemic assistance table here, just in case you're thinking of back to school and you want to get that uh, vaccination. Um, so all of us here, we're excited for you you have some a few minutes to come on down here bring a blanket if you'd like and some water it's a beautiful day out you don't want to miss we'll see you soon awesome thank you madeline so we will also have our very own book bike will be here as well so they'll be making a great appearance and then we have um beth um from customer relations who will be doing the spinning demonstration so i'm actually going to walk us over there and have her introduce herself and give us a little bit of sneak peek of what we're going to expect here okay bear with me here we go all right so, Beth, how are you? Doing just fine. Wonderful. So, can you just give us a little bit of an insight of what to expect here? Sure thing. I'm Beth from the Customer Relations team at Gil Borden, and I will be demonstrating how you take wool that's come from the back of the sheep through all the different processes, cleaning it, brushing it, spinning it, twisting it into yarn, and then making it into cloth. We'll go through all the different steps that it takes to turn wool into cloth. Cool. So, let me just kind of bring the camera down. So sure thing. This is a spinning wheel. You might rec recognize it from Sleeping Beauty pricking her finger or Rumpelstiltskin stir spinning straw into gold. We've got all kinds of wool that's been directly from the back of the sheep full of straw and dirt and all the things that sheep roll in. And then we've got wool that's been washed, brushed, and then dyed into all different various colors to make a rainbow of cloth. So wonderful. So then we have, what is this? Uh, thing here? This is what we use. Once the wool has been uh, washed, because sheep don't brush their own hair, we have to brush it after we take it off of them. So these are wool cards that are like big dog brushes. And that's what takes the snarly wool and turns it into soft, smooth wool. Super neat, super neat. And then, so this is what it would look like, like an after product. So there's a, a nice handbag. Yeah, this one here is a tote bag. Uh, I've woven this myself along with a table runner. And this here is wool that's been brushed, washed, combed, and then spun. So this is now yarn and a no longer wool. And then it's woven into material. That's so cool. And then what is this really huge thing at the end of the table here? This one here is another way to weave. This here is a loom and it makes ribbons and bands. Awesome, awesome. All right. And then so we have a question. That is actually today. So this event is happening today here at Lord's Park. Um, Mayor Captain will be here to do a story walk as well. So um, Mayor Captain will be talking um, at 1125. And so let me just say thank you so much, Beth. Thank you for having me. It's been a blast. Thank you. We appreciate you. All right. And we're going to do a quick little bit of a walk through. So we will also be doing a craft as well. So we have our very own volunteer. If our volunteer can wave at us. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. Hello. <laughs> Great, thank you so very much. So right over here, we will have a choir from St. Lawrence Church that will be performing for us today. There will be our background music for today. So wonderful, wonderful things are happening here. 
Wonderful. So I'm just going to have us do a little quick spin and see what we've got going. So crowd is starting. It's really happening. So wonderful. Great. Okay. So, oh, wow. We've got our special piece. The book bike is here. They're not quite set up just yet. <laughs> Hi. Wonderful. So yes, so come on down. So once again, Mayor Captain will be here. Um, he will be speaking at 1125. And then um, Madeline, who we just met a little bit earlier, um, she will be starting her story time soon after Mayor Captain speaks. And I think you want to see me, right? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so again, 1125, Mayor Captain will be speaking and Madeline would be doing story time uh, 10 minutes after that. And um, then everything else after Madeline is done, we will be having crafts. We'll be doing the story walk, listening to the great, wonderful background music. And while you're here, you can also enjoy the animals that are here at the zoo. So, um, so come on out and definitely join us. Um, again, I am Dominique from the Gilborn and Public Library, and I hope to see you here. Thank you so very much for your time and watching. And actually, I'm going to also make sure we film Mayor Captain speaking. I'm trying to see if he's here just yet. So don't leave me just yet. Stay with me. Oh, and we do have the book bike they're setting up. And did you bring those really cool bike keychain thingies? Those really cute things. They're so cute. <laughs> okay. All right. Right over there. All right. And I'm going to turn this over. Mayor Captain just arrived. Wonderful, Mayor Captain. And then we have Amber and Peters from EPEL. All right, and they'll be speaking shortly. So I'm just gonna pan around. So once again, please, please, please come on out and join us. Wonderful things are happening here. And it's such a gorgeous day out. Such a, such a gorgeous day. And book bike setting up here. Wonderful. So as we wait, let's see. Why don't we go for a little bit of a walk here? And Air Captain and Peters. And let's take a little bit of a walk. Yes, so it is today. Today the event will begin. And again, the event will start. It's going to kick off at 1125. And that will be starting off with Mayor Captain and Amber Peters from EPEL who will be speaking. So we're just going to take a little bit of a walk here. The event is up until 1 p.m. See if we can spot any animals today. All right. Oh, I think I see the pigs. Let's take a little bit of a peek. Ooh. Sorry about that. A little bit. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> They're so cool. Awesome. All right. So follow me. Let's take a little bit more of a walk here while we wait for Mayor Captain to prepare. Got the readership van. And then this cool barn. Let's see if there's any more animals while we wait. Take a little bit of a peek around the corner. Yes, I see. Awesome. So this is the donkey. Oh, he's so cute. He is so adorable. Oh, this is awesome. This is totally amazing. So everyone just give me a like if you are here. 
and readership van this is wonderful oh, I think there's someone with a puppet so let's go ahead and take a peek let's see if we catch everyone this is a great wonderful day the weather is beautiful beautiful out hey so who you got there there's shaggy sheep I think he needs to be sheared though <laughs> So yes, everyone, so you'll be able to come down and meet the puppet that is here, everything that's going on, crafts, story walk, book bike, you just can't go wrong here today with wonderful background music, once again, from the choir from the St. Lawrence Church, so wonderful, wonderful, and as you can see, everything is getting all ready and set up for you to come by and visit us, again, this event is is today and it will be kicking off at 11 25 and at 1 and even when you get here not only enjoying the event you get to also enjoy the zoo testing one two three testing. all right so they're gonna get ready and get started so let me walk around bear with me so we can catch Madeline introduction testing for one. mayor captain Thank you all so much for your patience. Hello, welcome everybody. How is everybody doing today? I couldn't hear you. Friends, thank you for being here. This is our last time at the Lord's Park Zoo today. Yay! Thank you for being here. Um, it's our last one for the season, I should say, for the summer. Um, and then we look forward to going back to school. Do we look forward to that? Yay! Yes! Oh, I heard that. Wow, they're excited. So I am so excited. I have a lot of friends with me today. And I'm going to start with my first friend. It's Amber Peters with the Elgin Partnership for Early Learning. She's got a real special guest that she will be introducing. So let's give her a warm welcome. Thank you, you Miss Madeline. And thank you so much for coming today. This is an exciting day um, because we have our new story walk. We're featuring one up by the playground. And we're going to have four total, but the ground is really hard. So you've got one to see today, but you can see the cover of the other three. Um, and, you know, what you're doing for your children today is such a gift. Because reading is the number one thing that you can do to have your children ready for school. And your children can dream the biggest dreams if they, have the, if they know how to read. So, um, and the family engagement, this is really what we want. We want you to bring your children out in the community to learn um, through play and through opportunities. It doesn't have to be done with flashcards and in your home. It can be places like the zoo, in the grocery store, in the laundromat, and just places that you go. So we're so appreciative of you coming today. I have my special guest, Mayor Captain, here to talk a little bit about the importance of reading and um, what's going on with the city. But I also want to make sure that I don't thank, forget to thank some of our great partners like Gilboard and Library, U46, Give Me Five, Miss Tiffany's here somewhere. Oh, she's way at the back. Um, and Alignment Collaborative um, for Education, um, and the Fit for Kids grant, Jackie Forbes, the, there's Jackie. Jackie's right she's right over here. She is, she was, um, helped us get a grant, and Elgin Township and the Kiwanis Club. Um, so we're so thankful for them for helping fund the Story Walk, and we hope that you enjoy them. Right. They'll be out in the community, Welcome different places. So if you uh, follow either Miss Tiffany on her Facebook or Instagram, U46 Give Me Five, or Elgin Partnership for Early Learning, or the library, you'll kind of know where the Story Walks are that you can enjoy them. So following all of these wonderful activities up here, come up to the playground. Um, we have a snack for you. And you'll also get a book, and you can walk through the one story um, that we have. Um, I think it's Low Love's Got Rhythm. Um, and look, we appreciate the library helping us pick out the stories that we were going to use this year in the community. Um, they're bilingual, so um, come on up. So, Mayor Captain, it's all yours. Thank you, Amber. And uh, 
Welcome to Lord's Park, one of my favorite places. And when you little guys walk out, those are the biggest dogs I ever saw laying in that cage out there. So you go take a good look at them. Uh, I have two things to tell you today. You know, it was very important for me to learn how to read when I was a youngster. And my father read the funny papers to me, and I learned to read a little bit, and I started to get some books, and I got interested in reading, and it stayed with me all my life. I read, uh, I read at least a couple books a week. Mayor Elf, who was my predecessor, by a number of years, read, was a school teacher at School District U46. Read his 90, I think he's 93 years old now, 94 years old. He's marked down and kept track of every book he read all his life. And he read over 25,000 books. That is amazing. He learned a lot. He learned about other people. He learned about a lot of places. There are wonderful things in, bo in books. For the, pe the parents that are here, make sure your kids learn how to read. There are assets and uh, places at the library that can help you and help you get through the language if you have a language problem. Help you read some of the books that are there. Find good books for your children. Sorry about that, that everyone. Be interested in reading. And that's the important part. I read stuff that I like. And I read stuff that I think are important to me and are important to the day. But, you know, we also have some other things to worry about. I have in my pocket a mask, and I brought this with me today because I'm going to tell you. I wear this not because of me. I've been vaccinated. I'm worried about these little guys. They haven't gotten their shot yet. So if you parents haven't gotten your shot and your vaccination, make sure you get that done. You could bring the virus home to your young ones. Even I can after my vaccinations, and we do not know how that will impact them 20 years from now. Nobody knows that. All the people that are on television and talking about what the virus does, there isn't one of them that can tell you the long-term impact on the young people. Reading is the same. We've got to do these things at a young age and make sure we protect our young ones, give them a chance to learn to read so they have a chance to move forward. I've been working with people in this city they have uh, young people that have physical disabilities. I'm going out to Jane Shover, uh, Easter Seal, uh, at the end of August to award some bicycles to young children that could never ride a bicycle. They're custom made so they could ride a bicycle for the only time in their life. I went to a school that opened up the other day for children that have, aut that have autism and they do not deal well with the other young people. They do not learn very well. and. It was amazing to me talking to them. It's one teacher per student to help get help them just do a day-to-day -day life. And their goal for them is that they may be able someday at two or three or four years old to sit down and have a meal with their parents. You are very fortunate if your children can do that. I tell everybody the same thing. The city of Elgin, as far as I'm concerned, has one goal. That's that each one of these young people has an opportunity to be the best adult and the best person they can be. Thank you for being here. I'll walk down and we'll talk as we go. Thank you. All right, friends. I also brought some musicians with me. There, Let's give them an applause. Come on down, musicians. We're going to start our story time, but do we always start with what? Who's been here before? Who's been to this? All Thank right, everybody. So that was that? Mayor Captain oh, and Amber okay. Peters from right, EPEL. And so Madeline's going to be starting her story time in just a moment. So once again, please come on out and join us and enjoy story time. Enjoy the story walk with Mayor Captain and enjoy the craft and um, visit Beth. The spinning wheel is that looks like the most coolest thing ever. Um, so it looks like the book bike has all set up. So let me just quickly go over. Bear with me. And 
Hello, Mayor Captain. Hello, how are, are you? you? Are you ready? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out. I'm Dominique from the Gilmore and Public. Okay. Nice to meet you. So, yeah, if you could just say hi to everyone and, and tell everyone to just come on out and uh, visit. Thank you. And uh, hello, everyone. And uh, uh, congratulations to everybody for doing this today and uh, getting young people out and how important it is for them to learn to read. And we have one of the greatest libraries in the United States. They can help guide people that like that maybe don't know what the best thing for their child to read topic, is. Right? But I think it's important so start, to find things that your child right? likes and things that book yeah. that they like and let them pick them out, maybe go through with them and uh, learn to read that way. And it's so important that we do that for them at an age of three or four or five so they can learn to read before they have to read to learn. And that's the important message. So when you get to be 20 years old, I want you to be the best student and the best citizen of Belgium you can be. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, Mayor Captain. Thank you so much, Amber Peters. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take care. All right. That was wonderful. And see, and we have our, oops, so sorry, technical difficulties, book bike. Awesome. Got wonderful things. So I'm just little stuck here moms, right? we can so we got we really cool <laughs> stuff going on okay, here at the go. book bike uh, awesome yeah. awesome a newborn is very how many babies in the house hello <laughs> all right awesome babies. hey how are you oh, how are you i'm, I'm the book bike oh, buddy right. today okay, natalia's the main <laughs> rider here. but okay, we, we really enjoy bringing the books out to the people and and we can sign them up for library cards they can check books out so having a lot of fun it's a beautiful day in lord's park City. so come on out and enjoy exactly exactly thank you so very much all right we're going to take a quick little peek over here so this is where the craft will be and once again come on out and visit us all right now everybody so this time <laughs> we did everything here to show you what's great going on here at Loris Park Zoo. So I am Dominique from the Gilboard and Public Library, and I want to thank you so very much for being, uh, you know, being here with us and watching us and seeing what we have going on here today and um, and staying with me here. <laughs> All right. And thank you so very much and talk to everyone soon. Have a great day. Thank you.